User interface in 3D is often used in games to display health bars, markers and information. In this video we will take a look at how you can achieve this and source code for this project is down in the description and if you find this helpful please subscribe. So let's dive in. So open up Godot and let's start with making a health bar. So make this a 3D scene and we want to add a child so hit the plus button and search for sprite 3D and add that. As a child for this and the texture for this will be a viewport so we will add a viewport and now we can set the size for the viewport and I'm gonna just make this 1920 by 1080 so if we open up the sprite 3d and on the texture we will select viewport texture select the viewport and press ok and now if we zoom out we will see the texture and it's basically getting the 2d viewport so as a child to the viewport, we will add their called progress bar. Now we have added a progress bar and we can see it here in the top left corner. And we can see that it's pretty small. So I'm going to go into the layout and on size and transform. And I'm going to increase the size to something more reasonable. Let's say 1000 and maybe 100 on the thickness. I'm going to go into the 2D view since the progress bar is a 2d node and in the top middle here i'm gonna anchor the preset to the middle if we go back into the 3d view we will now see it in the middle and we see this gray background and basically go into the sub viewport and enable transparent background that will make the background transparent and we will only be able to see the progress bar I'm gonna set the value to something like 50 on the progress bar so we can actually see it. We back to the 3D view and now we can see the value is set to 50. And we can set the steps to something like 1. That's how much it will move each step when we change the value. So now you see it's moving in increments of 1. And if we take it back to 0 0.1, you'll see it's moving in increments of 0 0.1. So I'll like 1 and keeping it at 50. I will make a simple script on the node 3D and create a new script. And on the process, we will remove the pass and drag in the progress bar. And then we select the progress bar and we wanna get the value. So the progress bar dot value minus equal one. So that will make it lose one over time so we can see it. I'm gonna run the scene and we can check it out. I realized we don't have a camera so we can't actually see it. So I'm gonna close this down and add a camera. We will add a camera and if I press Ctrl Alt M while selecting the camera, it will snap to our view. Now if we run the scene, we will see it went down really fast. I'm gonna increase the max value to something like 1000 so we can actually see what's happening and set the value to 1000 as well. I'm gonna run the scene and we can now see the progress bar going down really fast. And if we select the sprite, we can actually make it rotate to the direction we're looking at from the camera. And that's called a billboard. So if we select the sprite 3D, we can go into the flags on billboard, enable this. You can either do enable and that will be in every direction. So it's always facing you or you could do a Y billboard and that only makes it face you on the Y. I like the Y billboard more, but you could use a regular billboard as well. Sometimes you will have objects. I'm gonna put in an object here to show you what I mean, because sometimes you have an object that's inside of the sprite and that will make it not visible. So right now we have Suzanne here and she's really pretty, but she's blocking the view of the sprite. And you might want your progress bar or your UI to show in front of the models. And to make sure it's showing in front, we go into no depth test and we check this and it will make it render always in front of everything else. But a negative with this is it will always render in front of everything. So this is probably best if you make it only show the sprite when you're close to it. So something like an interactable that it shows when you're focusing it or interacting with it, but it hides when you're not interacting or focusing on it. I'm gonna also show this with something else than a progress bar. For example, a panel with some labels and a text. So I can just either duplicate this sprite 3D or I can add 
more nodes inside of the sub viewport. But for this example, I'm just gonna duplicate the sprite 3D and I might have to change the texture to this other one. So I'm gonna make this unique because it might be linked to the other one and select it and select this new one. I should probably rename them. I'll do that later. Here we're gonna remove the progress bar, select our viewport and we can add, for example, a panel. Go back into the 3D view to see what's actually happening. And we can see it up here in the top right. We can change the custom minimum size to something bigger. So let's make this like 500 by 500. And I'm gonna center this, go into the 3D view. And I want it under the health bar. So I'm gonna move it down on the Y position. Let's drag it down under it. And now I wanna add some text so we can add a label center this onto the panel and we can call it Suzanne. I'm gonna make it not as tall so I'm gonna make it 100. Not a good idea to do custom minimum size. I'm gonna just change the size because it doesn't let you change it as easy. So 100 on the Y and let's do 1000 on this as well. Center it and on the position on the Y, move it up above the health bar. So this will basically be the name tag of Suzanne. I'm gonna increase the font size. So search for font and font size. Go into the 3D view so we can actually see what's happening. And there we go, eight is perfect. And then you could add anything. For example, you could add sprites, like sprite 2D inside of this, and that would show as well. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit select the camera and Control alt m and now if we run this we can see everything better and right now we can't see suzanne and that's probably because i need to add the world environment and the sun so i'm gonna do that as well run the scene again and now we can see our beautiful suzanne her health bar and her name and this is basically how I did it in a game I'm working on right now, Forgefront. And you can wishlist it on Steam right now. I have the no depth on, but I also have this only visible when you're close by it. And then I have a interactable. I will link a video down in the description on how you can make a interactable. And then on my furnace script, I connected the focused and unfocused. And this is how you can do something similar to what I have done. So. Add an animation player that plays the sprite 3D going from visible to invisible. And then you can just play it and play it backwards. So playing it backwards will make it visible and playing it will make it invisible. So when it's not focused, it will play it, making it invisible. And when it's focused, playing it backwards will make it visible. And I'll show you how I made it. So it's made out of a panel with another panel inside of it, or actually a couple panels, a couple of labels. I think it's just one label, yeah, with all the text, because it would be annoying to change a bunch of labels for the different values, because this changes when you upgrade it. Then there's also a couple of sprites, so the coins and the heart. And as you can see, inside of the furnace and also rotating on the Y, because otherwise it might look a little bit weird with it facing outwards. I like the look of this a lot better. Thanks for watching. If you want to support my work, check out my Ko-Fi in the description. And I'll see you in the next one.